Alright, so some people have been asking me how I made my revolver pixel art thing here. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna show it. Um, basically, the idea is mine. It's, uh, by this guy, Dan Fessler. Um, he did this, um, uh, article called HD Index Painting in Photoshop, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, I will of course link to this in an annotation or in the description or something. Um, basically, as you can see here, I'm not sure how well this will show up in the video, but he's painting a, a black and white image, and uh, with some magic, it gets turned into this pixel art look, which is basically the idea that I ripped off. Um, you can read the article; it um, explains everything really nicely. Um, he also worked on Chasm, which is using the same uh, technique, so check that out as well. Anyway, um, basically what it's doing is that it's um, it's using a, a few Photoshop filters. So if we um, I have this revolver, which is the one I used for this one, as you can see. But for this example, I will actually show you. So here I just have a uh, turbo smooth uh, sphere or oh, actually it was a cube but it's a sphere now um, and then I go into the render settings here um, just pick a low image for this one I just went into ADTV and pick the smallest one uh, go into the renderer and uh, turn off anti-aliasing and put the filter to Catmore ROM and advanced lightning set that to ray tracer or light tracer I mean um, that's what I did anyway you can do whatever light setup you want you just want a low resolution for the picture and you want anti-aliasing off that's important so if we render this one out it'll come up like that boom sphere save it just save it here as sphere uh, I'm gonna save this one as a PNG you can use JPEG if you want I'm I just like to use uh, PNG because it allows me to save the alpha channel as well which we're gonna do there we go then shut that one down and oh my Photoshop um, so here we go in and uh, we open up the image now uh, just place that in center there we go um, we're gonna need a background so let's make a black background pull that down there okay here comes the important part okay you ready you're following good we need to add a black and white um, filter or adjustment layer because this works best on black and white images you can use colors but it's a bit easier to control if your image is pure black and white so make sure you do that uh, it's pretty good to have uh, even though our image is black and white already but yeah um, next up we add a posterize adjustment layer which will add these funky looking things uh, some really hard edges um, we can adjust this to get some less hard ones so let's go for seven for this example um, that looks fine um, it looks like pixel now I guess but we're gonna take it a step further now we add a um, gradient map which will needs to be reversed in this case just pick one I already chew, uh, made got this one let's take that it's a bit of Game Boy-ish I suppose um, you can always if you want go in and add the um, levels adjustment layer as well and adjust the levels um, to get a little bit more out of it and all that you know um, in this case it's not really necessary so just delete that I'm gonna pick another gradient map because this one is very harsh let's go with that one it, yeah this one it shows a little bit more of the sphere itself um, basically you're done now but we don't want this boring uh, transition on the sphere because it's a sphere it needs to look smooth right okay so what we do is that we add a new layer and then we go to the paint bucket and choose a pattern up here in the um, top left corner um, on the um, article by, by Dan Fessler you get some of these um, bottom uh, patterns here that you can use um, which uh, except this one you don't actually get that one but you can just rip it by uh, one of the images on there so it's kind of easy um, let's just pick one let's just take uh, this one here and then we just add that now for this to actually work we just need to it's very simple just 
lower the opacity. Uh, let's just lower it a bit more. There we go. Now it's gone from the background. And when we zoom in, you can see here it's a uh, it's a lovely transition. You can always, if you want, uh, duplicate and make more. Um, but it doesn't always work. But in this case, it actually did, as you can see. So we actually got a bit more dithering going on, and uh, it actually looks smooth now. Uh, it looks really good. Um, we can always just go in here to the background and change that a little bit if we see the need. But as you can see, sometimes the it wants to dither the background as well, and we don't necessarily want that. But you can always go in because we chose this as a um, separate PNG file with an alpha mask. You can go in and mask off these uh, these layers. Uh, so there we go. Now you can actually change the color, still getting the color from the color ramp, but without getting the uh, actual um, dithering effect. And that's basically how I did it. Um, if we uh, actually let's just keep this and then just import this one here instead of the sphere. There we go. Uh, that looks horrible because the layer mask was just disabled. And actually, let's just delete them and then add new ones. Oops, there. Um, again, now let's just make this black. Um, we will need to go in and edit the posterize here to get the most out of it. Uh, personally, I think set eight here looks fine. Let's try another gradient. Uh, that one, for example, that was kind of cool. And um, that's an easy way to get pixel art looking 3D models. Um, if you're new to doing pixel art like I am, I think this is a great way to learn it and definitely a great way to start out. Um, it's an easy way to prototype uh, if something is going to work, I suppose. Um, because you don't necessarily need a high polygon model to get something decent looking. Um, I have a high poly model of this uh, revolver here. But the actual one that I used for this was the low poly, and as you can see, it worked great. Uh, but if you want, you can use the uh, the high poly and get some more light bouncing going off, uh, going on. I mean, if you you know what I'm saying, um, some interesting light, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it really works out great, I think, uh, and uh, definitely check it out. The most important part is. Definitely getting some interesting light uh, on the model that will uh, create some nice shapes. Like uh, if we change this again back to this one here, for example, that didn't really change much. But for example, you can see here in the grip, it's got some nice lighting, and on this round part, and the same here. Uh, you can't really see it, but on this version here, for example, you can see some nice lighting going on uh, a little bit on the top here as well. I I like it overall. Uh, this one was my second try, and this is by far the best. I haven't been able to really achieve the same look, but you know, it, I'm still trying. So, yeah, that was uh, basically how you do it. And um, I hope you have fun and enjoy. Again, check out Dan Fessler here. I'm gonna make a link to the page uh, and uh, just uh, read up on it because he explains it way better than I do and actually explains how this was achieved I suppose so yeah um, have fun